what's up guys welcome back to the video today we are talking about this which is the lightpix lab q20 version 2 flash so this flash was kindly sent down to me by a local company called crystal film based in johannesburg and one of the things that got me most excited about this flash is the fact that it can be separated from the actual base mounting and used as an external flash for your film camera and these things are pretty affordable as well so i was quite excited to get out there and try it so i called up my good friend liam who you've seen on the channel multiple times to help me shoot some photographs with this flash and basically run it through its paces and see what we can get with it. So of course one of the main features about this flash is the fact that you can separate it from its base and actually use it as an external flash for your film camera and one thing you might know is that a lot of film camera flashes from back in the day are kind of just fixed big blocky flashes that you can clip onto your camera and then that's that. So it's really nice to have an affordable flash that you can actually use as an external flash for your film cameras so long as your film camera has a hot shoe mount of course. So the base of the flash actually has a built-in battery and it just uses a micro USB cable to charge and the main body of the flash uses two AA batteries and if you put rechargeable batteries in there there is a micro USB port on the other side so you can charge it with a wire as well. So the flash has multiple power settings which can be controlled on the back of the flash and one of the handy features with this flash is that the base plate that clips into the hot shoe of your camera actually has power control buttons on it so you don't have to walk back and forth from your camera to your flash if you're using it externally to change the power settings you can just do it from your camera which is super handy as well and on top of being a fully functional flash it also has a tiny LED video light on the bottom as well that you can use as sort of continuous lighting um, it's not the most powerful but I mean it's pretty bright and it's just a nice feature to have on the flash you know I mean they didn't need to do that they didn't need to go that hard but they did which is really nice and super helpful especially at such an affordable price point and if you're like me and you're someone who doesn't really want to carry a big bulky flash around with you this is super nice and compact I mean it literally fits into my back pocket and it's super nice just to chuck in my camera bag and bring along on shoots if I'm ever in a pinch and I just need a flash it's nice to have that also if you're using natural light and you just want like a little bit of pop in your scene you can use the external feature of this flash and kind of light up different parts of your scenes using this flash which is super helpful sometimes so the flash of course came in this hardcover case and inside the case were a few sort of accessories for the flash like a reflector a diffuser for the LED video light and then my favorite part a pack of colorful gels so I was really excited to get out and try these colorful gels and maybe do some creative portraits with that so of course I brought my friend Liam along he always helps me on these shoots and yeah we decided to just get creative with it we actually used his camera to shoot these photos uh, because my Nikon F3 doesn't have a hot shoe mount or it does but I don't have the adapter for it so we decided to shoot the roll on his Canon A1 which of course has a hot shoe one of the nice things about this flash is that it's basically universal to any camera that has a hot shoe and I've tried it on all the cameras I own that have hot shoes, my 7S III that I'm filming on, which is a digital camera granted, uh, Liam's A1, my Minolta, XE5, it worked on there as well. But yeah, my Nikon, of course, I don't have the adapter for the hot shoe, so I couldn't do it on the F3. So we decided to use Liam's camera. So let's head out and take some photos with this thing, shall we? So after firing off a few shots at the park, we decided to shoot off the rest of the roll at my house because Liam and I had this cool idea to basically do double exposures where we'd use one flash on this side, sort of a colorful gel, and then another flash on this side on the second exposure and sort of have two faces looking either way in different colors. We wanted to get back to the house and shoot our creative portraits that we had initially intended, but we felt like we couldn't do this video without at least trying the flash outdoors. So we first shot outdoors, and then we head back to shoot the rest of it indoors, which is cool. Looks like you're about to go skiing. That's kind of what I'm going for though. Okay, cool. Give it a proper advance. Did it go? 
So we hung up a blanket on my cupboard to sort of just create a bit of a backdrop so we don't have the lines of my cupboard in the background. And that's one thing I also like about these little projects is that, you know, you can set up like a creative shoot in your house using this flash as like creative lights instead of having those, you know, colorful LED light tubes to create color contrast in your photos. Like it's nice to have something affordable that you can just whip out and use as like a colorful light for photographs. What I want is this, this, and this. The form flash is there, we're on two seconds. Okay. Yo, that's gonna be good. You think so? Hey, yeah, that looks cool. Because it was only on the side of your face. That's what I was saying the whole time, is that okay. it needs to be like directly from the okay, side. We'll, we'll see how that one goes up. Okay, wait, let me drop this down one as well. How much power was that? That was very low. That was, that was the second lowest. For the blue, the red was one stronger than this. Up a bit. You need, you need to aim better. I'll tell you where to aim. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm just checking. Okay. <laughs> Dude, this whole video is just going to be your back and everything else out of focus. <laughs> Got it. Where do you where did you get it? On your face. The other time it was like up here, so like your mouth wasn't in it, or like your one eye wasn't in it. But that time. Was really good. In the dark. I want this shot straight on. I'm speaking. Okay, one more. Oh, that's fine. So it has been a hot minute since I uploaded a video. I have been really busy the past month. I started a new job at one of South Africa's biggest camera stores, which has been super busy, but a ton of fun. I've joined the board of a group called Analog Cape Town, where basically we're a group that organizes photo walks for the film photography and analog community in Cape Town. Basically, yeah, we hosted two walks in the past month. We did one last month. We just did one this month as well. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. So if you're from Cape Town or if you're ever in Cape Town and you want to do a walk, we do a walk every every month and you can check us out at Analog Cape Town on Instagram or you can follow me on Instagram I'll be posting about it there as well so we've done a couple walks and the film community in Cape Town is really strong and it's super nice to see everyone coming out with their film cameras having fun going on photo walks with us and just it's nice to network with you know like-minded people in the film photography community so that's been a lot of fun I'm super thrilled to be on board with Analog Cape Town a lot of cool stuff has happened I got a new camera which I will be making a video about coming up very soon so yeah as I mentioned this flash was kindly sent to me by a local company called Crystal Film based in Johannesburg and if you are interested in trying this flash I'll leave a link in the description to Crystal Film's website and there's a code there as well if you use it you can save 5% on your purchase. Awesome guys if you enjoyed this video leave it a like subscribe to the channel I've got a lot of cool video ideas coming through this year yeah drop me a comment let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers! <laughs>